In this screencast, I'd like to talk about using JavaScript libraries in Dart. The JS Dart library that has been released recently allows us to do that. First of all, we need to add the following dependency to the pubspec.yaml file of our project. And now, let's install it. There is a JavaScript library JSLib, that I'd like to use in my Dart application. As you can see, this library doesn't do much, but it's good for fiddling around. And I believe that the best way to do this sort of experimentation is by writing unit tests. So here I'm importing the unit test framework and the JS library. Let's start with the simplest case possible, calling a global function. That's how we call a global JavaScript function in Dart. All the code talking to JavaScript must be wrapped into this code block. And the context getter it gives us access to the top-level JavaScript context, so we can call functions. All right, now let's run our test in a browser. It's passing. Next, working with JavaScript objects. Here we have an object that has a name, and it can introduce itself. On top of that, we have a global function using that object. The result of the expression on line 22 is a proxy to the actual person object in JavaScript. We can call methods on it, and we can use it as an argument. Alright, let's check the tests are green. And they are. Another example. We have a function here, verifying that a map contains a set of keys. Manually building maps and arrays using the proxy mechanism we just discussed can be tedious. Thankfully, the JS library has two top-level functions creating maps and arrays. And that's how we can use them. Wrapping up, we've taken a look at a few very basic scenarios. Now we know that we can use the context getter to call global functions. We can instantiate proxies to work with JavaScript objects. And we've learned how to build maps and arrays. Next time, we are going to take a look at more advanced examples, such as using callbacks, managing proxy and callback lifetimes, and more. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.